final section of Code of Look Alta is the thrusts, the imbrocata and stoccata. So we will look at the same sequence, swords or daggers or cloak. So first up against the imbrocata, the descending thrust. Our first option is to, oops, up forward. We want to use the false edge as we step through and throw the stranzone to the head, going to their inside. We can use the mezzo mandrito, just like we did with the against the mandrito. So we step to the side, thrust to the chest, get out of the way, or we can step to the side, cut to the face, and cut again as we leave. Finally, we can strike to the hand with a mezzo mandrito. So here, that comes in, we strike the extending hand with that attack. I can say spoke out with a few more options. These are the longer sections. We can, of course, use the falso dritto. So defend, cut, cut, get out of the way. We can use the mezzo mandrito again. So beat, thrust, leave, or beat, cut, leave. Facce is a great option here. Very easy to pick up, very easy to do the exchange of thrust. And we can cut to the hand. So a lot of these are going to be illustrative mezzo tempo actions. So we step back slightly on an angle, hitting them in the hand. We can do our own stoccata to them. And you could use your left hand here to kind of help out, kind of guide them out of the way. But it's not necessary. And then finally, we could use this reverso stramazzoni, this defense-like action, where it kind of looks like we're defending, but in fact, we're setting up a cut to the inside of the arm. Now, dagger hand, we have the slip of elbow to us to the outside. So this is going to be a very, very small step to their right foot, left foot, and a small right triangle step. We can also parry with the mandrito and strike with a punta reversa. So beat and thrust. Left hand there for back up. If it is a stoccata, we can't really do the outside slip, but we can never do the inside slip, going to their inside. So it's going to guide them to our inside. Because their dagger is there, it is extremely likely that we need to turn this into either a cut high or a cut low, mandrito head, mandrito to leg. We can, again, use the mezzo mandrito. Beat thrust or beat cut. And then cut again. Finally, we can just go for the hand because it is available. Ending up in iron gate on a slight angle. So we're really sort of facing the hand. Finally, our last couple of plays are from left hand holding the cloak. We have, once again, the Mezzo Madrito and the outside slip, and then the inside slip on the other side. So we can beat thrust, or we can guide and cut. If it is instead a stoccata, so the rising attack, we will use the inside slip, guiding them to our left. Anyone say the head or leg, preferably the leg, or we can use faccia. So step in, and he has us cutting the thigh as we leave, because their hands are both quite high. Both his hands are quite high. Let's go along Alta. Next set of videos is Iron Gate.